So today we are celebrating a special occasion. It was a day in which Raghunath Das got the mercy of Lord Nityananda. Right? We have the deities here, Gaur Nitai. Gora is Chaitanya and Nitai is Nityananda. So Lord Nityananda gave mercy to this one devotee named Raguna. Raghunath Das. He was a disciple of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So Raghunath was born in a very wealthy family, very rich family. His father and his uncle were very wealthy and they, they would maintain all the brahmanas in Bengal. They would give charity to them, to maintain them. So Raghunath was born in that family uh, but he wanted to follow Lord Chaitanya. He wanted to go with Lord Chaitanya, he wanted to leave the family and go and become a like a, a sadhu, like a, a, a baba or something, you know. So he wanted to leave the home. So sometime he would run away and when he would run away the father would send people to go and catch him and bring him back. And it happened several times, he ran away, father would send men, go and get him, bring him back and they bring him back. Lord Chaitanya of course was, he had already taken sannyas, he had renounced the world and he was living in Jagannath Puri. So Raghunath wanted to go there be with Lord Chaitanya but his family were very attached. Some Indian families are very attached to their children, especially the son. They won't let the son go away from the home. So anyway they got him married. They got him married to a very beautiful lady, young girl, Bengali lady, very sweet, very gentle, spoke very nicely, you know, very nice lady. But he was not, Raghunath was not interesting. They had so much money and he had such a beautiful wife and but he didn't he didn't want to enjoy the material world. He wanted to get something more than just the material world could offer. So at one point the father, the, fa the mother was thinking, we will tie him up to, so he doesn't run away, we'll tie him up. But the father said, what, what's the good to tie him up? He has more money than Kuvera, the treasurer of the demigods. And he has a wife as beautiful as Lakshmi, the goddess of fortune. So if these things cannot keep him at home, ropes will not be any good either. So no point to tie him up. So he stayed at home. So at one point he went to Lord Chaitanya had come there and he went to see Lord Chaitanya. 
And he told Lord Chaitanya, I want to leave the home, I want to come and be with you. And Lord Chaitanya told him, you go home and stay at home and behave like a normal person. Don't think that you… don't become a sahajya. Sahajya means one who takes everything very cheap. He told him, go home and keep Krishna in your heart and just behave like a normal person and in your heart always think of Krishna. So Lord Chaitanya sent Raghunath home. So Raghunath went home and he did what Lord Chaitanya told him. He behaved like a normal person but at the same time he was very careful not to get attached to the luxury and the comfort of the home and all the pleasures of the material world. So after some time Lord Nityananda came to a place called Panihati. Panihati is on the bank of the Ganges river. It's not very far away from Calcutta, quite near to Calcutta airport. If, you, if you're there in Calcutta sometimes you can go to Panihati, it's very near to airport. We have a nice temple there now and you can see the place, the Panihati. Uh, Lord Nityananda had come there and he was at there at the bank of the Ganges river, there was a big tree, big tree is still growing there on the side of the river and Lord Nityananda was sitting there with all the devotees and Raghunath came. So when Raghunath came they recognized him and they said, oh Raghunath has come and Lord Nityananda said, you come here, today I'm going to punish you. <laughs> he told him, I'm going to punish you. Lord Nityananda told him, he said, your punishment is you have to put on a feast for all the devotees. I want you to make a feast for all the devotees. <laughs> so in Bengal this time of the year it's very hot, right? And it was the middle of the day, so very hot. And so Raghunath arranged to get shira, flat rice, crushed flat, flat rice, shira. And Bengali people in the summer they'll take that flat rice, they'll soak it and then mix it with yogurt, mix it with dahi and fruit and take it. So. Raghunath he didn't die, he got a lot of flat rice and he got all the yogurt and condensed milk also to make it more tasty, condensed milk and yogurt and they mixed it all. First they washed the flat rice in the Ganga water and then they mixed it with the yogurt and the condensed milk and they of course in Bengal there's always bananas everywhere and mangoes also this time of the year everywhere mango growing and bananas so he got lots of bananas and mango. And people were coming, everybody heard, you know in India when there's prasadam distribution everybody comes, you know, you don't know where they come from. They come out of the trees, they come in from… Uh, it's amazing how quickly every, so many people all came. And even the vendors came to sell their goods because they heard Raghunath is buying everything. So they came and Raghunath would buy all their yogurt and milk and bananas and mangoes, he'd buy everything from them and they made a big feast and they offered it on the bank of the Ganges, they offered it to Lord Nityananda and they had a big kirtan and when they had the big kirtan then everybody could see Lord Chaitanya amazingly he appeared in the kirtan. Mm. Although he was staying in Jagannath Puri by his mystic power he appeared there at Panihati and they had a big kirtan mm. and then they distributed prasadam to everyone. 
and they fed everyone, even the dogs. All the dogs were fed as well. Nobody went hungry. They fed everybody. So Lord Nityananda was very pleased and he placed his lotus feet on the head of Raghunath and he blessed Raghunath. Well, first of all Raghunath, he wanted to, he gave some money and everything, he wanted to give some donations for Lord Nityananda and for his party. And then Lord Nityananda told him he was very pleased and, he, and Raghunath Das said, please bless me that I shall get free from material life soon and Lord Nityananda said, yes, very soon you will get free from material life. So Raghunath was very happy, he got the blessing of Lord Nityananda and he went home and he waited for the right time to get out from the house. <laughs> and then it happened one morning, one morning because they had a deity in the house and so there was a man coming every day to do the puja. They had a, a brahmana come every day to do the puja. But one, this one day the man didn't come to do the puja. So they said, oh what's happened? Why the pujari has not come? So Raghunath said, I will go and find out, I will go and get them. So Raghunath went, it was early in the morning. So Raghunath decided this will be a good time to get away from the home. So he was very careful. He went on the back path, he didn't go the usual road to Puri, he went all the other paths so they couldn't find them. When they came looking for… they understood after some time, hey Raghunath has not come back, where is he gone? And the, the father sent men to look for him, they came back and said, we can't find him anywhere because he'd taken another path. And so he, he, they were not able to catch him. So Raghunath escaped from the home and he got to Jagannath Puri. He walked, of course you have to walk all the… in those days there were no bus, no train, no plane, everything walking. So Raghunath walked to Puri and he got to Jagannath Puri and he's came to Lord Chaitanya and surrendered. And Lord Chaitanya told him, you're very lucky, you've been freed. He said, you were like a man who'd fallen into a hole where people pass through, you know. They make a hole sometimes in India and they will pass their stool into the hole. So he said, you had fallen into that hole. Usually people don't get out, so by good fortune somehow you've got out, so you're very lucky. And so he, he told Raghunath to stay in Jagannath Puri and he became… he was the servant of Swarup Damada. So Raghunath stayed there in Puri and after some time Lord Chaitanya disappeared. He, le he disappeared from the world. Mm. So then Raghunath went to Vrindavan and he went to Vrindavan and there he stayed with Rupa and Sanatan. So he became one of the six Goswamis. You can see the picture on the bottom there, mm. the six Goswamis, six, six men. He became one of the Goswamis, the six Goswamis. Mm. He was living there in Vrindavan. And he went to, he lived at Radhakund. Lord Chaitanya had discovered Radhakund. Nobody knew where is Radhakund until Lord Chaitanya went there. And he showed them there was a rice field. It was just a rice field. But Lord Chaitanya went into the field, began to take bath. So everyone, everyone was surprised. Why is he taking bath here? Lord Chaitanya told him, this is Radha Kun. So Raghunath was staying there in Radha Kun and he wanted to develop it, to make it nice. He, but he had no money, he left all the money. 
So what happened, there was one man, he was going to Badrik Ashram and he was taking a lot of gold to Badrik Ashram. But on the way there he had a dream and in his dream Lord Krishna appeared to him and told him, he said, take this gold and go to Radhakund, Vrindavan there's a place called Radhakund, go there and give the gold to Raghunath, he needs it. So the man came all the way back and he gave the money, gave the gold to Raghunath and Raghunath used that money to make beautiful kunds there at Radhakund and Shamakund. But Raghunath Das, he was very renounced. At first when he ran away from home, father sent money for him. So at, at first he was using the money, he'd make a feast and he'd bring the different sannyasis and different devotees would all come, he'd give them a feast. They would do it once every month, they'd have a big feast. But then he sent all the money back, he thought, this is not good. Why I should use all my father's money like this, this is not… He sent it back. So then every day he would just beg outside the door of the temple. In Jagannath Puri many people go there, they'll get prasadam, they'll come out with the prasad. So if you stand there, you know, people will give you prasad. So Raghunath Das was standing there every day begging to get prasad and Lord Chaitanya would see him. Lord Chaitanya said, oh very nice, very, very humble, to, you have to be very humble to beg, mm -hmm. you know, to beg food like that. Mm -hmm. So Raghunath was doing that for some time but then after some time he was not there anymore and Lord Chaitanya said, what happened to Raghunath, where did he go? And they said, oh no, he's not begging anymore, he said he he said, it's not very good to stand there every day begging, he said, you get to know who will give you and who won't give you. He said, it's not very good. So what he did instead, he would go to the drains where they wash the pots and he would collect all the, the rice and the whatever things were left in the pots. He would collect it from the drain and he would wash it and dry it and then he would honour it as prasanna and in this way he would eat. He was very, very renounced, you know. So Lord Chaitanya said, oh he is taking prasadam like that, he said, that is nectar. And Lord Chaitanya found him, Lord Chaitanya also took some. But Lord Chaitanya's servant told Lord Chaitanya, no, no, this is not for you. You should not. So Raghunath Das was living like that, very renounced. Although he was from a very, very wealthy family, he became very, very renounced. So it, it's very important to understand that first of all he went to Lord Chaitanya and Lord Chaitanya said, go home. But then when he went to Lord Nityananda, Lord Nityananda gave him blessings that he would get free from material life. So Lord Nityananda is not different from Balaram and Lord Balaram is the Adi Guru, he's the original Guru. So the point is Lord Chaitanya is Krishna. So you, you don't go to Krishna directly, you must go first through the spiritual teacher. We say by the mercy of the guru you get the mercy of Krishna. You don't go to Krishna without the mercy of the guru. So initially Raghunath was going to Lord Chaitanya, so Lord Chaitanya said, go home, just stay at home. But when he went to Lord Nityananda, Lord Nityananda is like the guru, so Lord Nityananda blessed him and then he was able to get the mercy. By the mercy of Lord Nityananda he got freed from material life. So it's on this day that it happened in Panihati. So every year in Panihati there's a festival and many different people come there 
and they will distribute the flat rice and they will distribute prasadam and they have many people doing kirtan and a lot of programs there in Panihati. It's just a small village but this day, on this day it's very crowded, so many people are there and they're all chanting and giving prasadam. It's a small village near the airport. Huh? It's not a small village near the airport. Yeah. yeah, not far from the airport, not far away from there, on the bank of the Ganges. Yes, 24 Parganas. Huh? Parganas. 24 Parganas, yeah, yes, yeah. that district, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this pastime took place today. So, devotees, we like to celebrate this festival with, with the festival, Shira Dahi festival. We have some Shira and Dahi we want to distribute to all of you today. And we want you to also pray to Raghunath also, pray to Lord Krishna. We can also get free of material life and go back to Godhead like Raghunath become good devotee. So Krishna consciousness is like that. If we get too attached and too comfortable to material living then the path back to Godhead is more difficult. So Raghunath Das, he was, he was very renounced. He would practice, hardly he would eat, hardly he would sleep. He conquered over eating and sleeping and he was always meek and humble. And he lived to an old age, he lived to an old age in Radha Kund. And if you go to Radha Kund, his samadhi is there in Radha Kund where he used to live. So he worshipped. Govardhan Hill and every day do parikrama around the Govardhan Hill and he'd be meditating there at Radha Kund. And sometimes when he'd be meditating sometimes a tiger would come because it's jungle, it was a jungle and sometimes a tiger would come and it happened one time a tiger came but what happened Krishna came, chased the tiger. Raghunath Das was sitting in trance and meditation, chanting the holy name and meditating on Krishna. He didn't see the tiger. So Lord Krishna came, took the tiger away. And another time the sun was very hot and Raghunath was out there and he didn't notice how hot the sun was. Radharani came and she put her sari over the head of Raghunath to protect him. So they told one of the devotees they saw that, oh, you know, this is not good. You're taking service from Krishna and Radha. This is not good. You should build a. Because he had no place for shelter. So they told, you build a place for yourself, make a kutia, a bhajan kutia. And in the bhajan kutia, then you can sit. You won't be troubled then by tigers and the heat and everything. So like that, he built a little kutir and he was living there in Radha Kund. So when we go to Vrindavan people, uh, they like to go to Radha Kund. It's a holy place. It's right at the side of the Govardhan Hill. So we're remembering this pastime of Raghuna. Mm. We always pray to the Goswami, Bande Rupa Sanatana Raghujago, Sri Jiva Gopala Go, Bande Rupa Sanatana Raghujago, Sri Jiva Gopala Go. There were six Goswamis, Rupa, Sanatan, Jiva, Raghunath, there was a Raghunath Das and Raghunath Bhatta. 
Goswami, and then a Gopal Bhatta Goswami. So they were all followers of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And they were living in Vrindavan and chanting the holy name and worshipping Krishna and discovering all the different holy places of Krishna's pastimes. And at the same time they wrote books also about Krishna consciousness. So we're indebted to these great souls So we always remember the different festivals in their honour. Okay, any question? Oh Raghunath Das was given a, a Govardhan Shila by Lord Chaitanya. Hmm. And he, he, you know, usually people worship Shaligram, mm -hmm. Brahmanas worship Shaligrams. Raghunath Das, however, Lord Chaitanya gave him a Govardhan Shila, a stone from the Govardhan hill. And the stones from the Govardhan hill, that were very special. And Lord Chaitanya had been keeping, somebody had brought it from Vrindavan and given it to Lord Chaitanya. And Lord Chaitanya would keep it, sometimes he'd put it on his head. Sometimes you hold it in front of his eyes like that. And like that he kept it for some time and then he gave it to Raghunath and he told Raghunath he could worship the stone. And when you worship the stone from Govardhan you can see Krishna in the, in the Govardhan shell. He said every stone on the Govardhan hill is a manifestation of Krishna. You know they'll paint the eyes you know on the stone. So Raghunath, he was worshipping the Govardhan Shila mm -hmm. and that Govardhan Shila is there in Radha Kun, you can see. Mm -hmm. And Lord Chaitanya also gave instruction, Raghunath asked, he would never go to Lord Chaitanya directly, he would ask Swarup Damodar, please ask Lord Chaitanya to give me some instruction. So Lord Chaitanya told Raghunath, he said, you should you should never eat luxurious food and you should dress also very simply. Don't dress in an opulent manner. And he told him also, and don't hear all the gossip of the common people and don't talk like all the common people. So he, he got these instructions from Lord Chi because he was a Babaji. He was renounced from the whole material world. So there's a standard by which they're supposed to live, you see. They don't talk anything about the material world. They just chant the holy name constantly and worship Radha and Krishna in their heart. And in this way they're fully absorbed in Krishna consciousness. Eating very frugal, very simple, very less and sleeping also less and using all the time for Krishna's service. So sometimes people would come, they could not understand how he could live. Raghunath with, with, you know, he was so old and so thin and they wonder, how is it possible he's living? And they found it holy places by meditation, yeah, or some books also. Well, Lord Chaitanya came there and revealed Radha Kun to them. By the mercy of Lord Chaitanya they could re Radha Kun was revealed. And then the different deities, they found the deities. They saw the deities, they could understand these deities were from the time of Braja, Lord Krishna's grandson Brajanath. Brajanath, he had a, many different deities of Lord Krishna made. So some of those deities like Radha Govinda, Govinda Ji, the deity in Jaipur, that was the deity of Rupa Goswami and Madan Mohan, that was the deity of Sanatana Goswami. And Raghunath, he also had a deity 
I can't remember. Radha Damodar, I think, was a deity. Radha Damodar. No, that was a deity. Maybe Radha. Each of them, they, they had a different deity. And the, some of the deities like Radha, uh, Radha Raman, Radha Raman who came from a Shaligram Shila, the one devotee Gopal Bhatta Goswami, he had come from Sri Ranga and he's come to stay in Vrindavan. And then he went up to Badrik Ashram, he went up to Gangotri, he wanted to get some Shaligram Shilas. So he was up at Gangotri and some of the Shilas, they, they came out of the water on their own. They wanted to come with Gopal Bhatta. So he brought these Shaligram Shilas back to Vrindavan. And one day he was worshipping the Shaligram Shila, he was thinking it would be nice to have a deity of Krishna. And the next morning when he looked at the Shaligram Shila, one of the Shaligram Shilas had become a deity of Krishna. So that deity is worshipped there in Vrindavan. Radha with the eyes, right, right, white eyes. Yeah, right. The, this. So when I want you, when you meet, when we, like, magic. When we are, we are in the magic, like, like, what we like have, magic. when we meet our cousins, and there is gossip happening, and if you want to avoid and stay with uh, you, this one, keep quiet, or you say that I don't want to engage in gossip. No, no, this one, this one, right, Guru Maharaj. Yeah. Huh? Radha Raman, right? Oh, what happened? Oh. You see? Oh. Yeah. This, yeah, oh. yeah. this one is yeah. before. You ah, see, the Shaligram no, is very small, right? Guru ah. Maharaj, very small. Yes. He's very small. Yes, you, if people are just gossiping, mm -hmm. then better to get up and go away. No, about cousin, about this, about their fears, about you know what I mean. Oh, okay, yeah. So if you want to avoid it, yeah, then, then you, you keep quiet. Oh, yeah, you can keep quiet, but the, the mind may also think. So it's good to just get up, and then you don't need to hear everything. If you get up and go to, say, I have to do something in the kitchen or something. Like that. Yeah. Yes. Just avoid. <laughs> Guru Maharaj, you said that… You can change the subject also. <laughs> Just like there was this one devotee, Vamsi Das Bhavati, people would ask him, what do you think of the government? He would say, Govardhan? Govardhan? <laughs> 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 this is very really really smart. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> you wouldn't, wouldn't talk about the government, you talked about government. Prajalpa, right? It's very important, right? Yeah. For us? Yeah, yeah. God made you many times. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Village talk, village talk. Really that person, this person, like this. Give up the Prajalpa, one woman. Village talk. Huh? One woman, uh, very hard to give up the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 Speak the Pasya talk. You said Raghunath Das Goswami, he conquered over sleeping and eating, Yeah. which means like he can live without sleeping and eating. Usually we cannot eat uh, like, uh, but, but maybe he, get weak. He, right? he ate very less and he slept on only a little, that's the point. That we can do, right? Well, yeah. Eating, first of all, you give up meat, fish, and eggs, mm -hmm. right? Become a pure vegetarian, and then just eat prasada. Mm -hmm. And then gradually you can also, mm -hmm. in old age, you know, you're not able to eat too much. You know, in old age, you will eat much less. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's true. Mm -hmm. Prabhupada used to say, old man cannot eat too little. 
Mm. Young men can eat so much, but old men cannot eat much. Cannot eat too, too mm. old, cannot eat more. Mm. Cannot eat much. Mm. Old men. Mm. It's, it's not good. Not good also for old people. Yeah, my grandfather left uh, from two, three years to two to me still and Lakshmi means one. Luxury, eat, eat, luxury. Eat. Uh, she is asking, what do you mean by... Chaitanya said, give up uh, eating luxury, give up... A lot of luxury food means a lot of food cooked in ghee, mm-hmm. very rich food, very, yeah, you know, a lot of sweet <laughs> sugar and like that, mm-hmm. you know. Absolutely. He eat always luxury. Yes, always luxury. Food. Luxury. For us, we should... We should gradually do it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we should. Well, you should first of all just eat prasada. <laughs> That's the thing. First eat what's offered to Krishna. Yeah. Luxurious prasada is okay. Luxurious prasada is okay. First, we should not eat outside luxurious prasada. Then slowly, maybe, someday. How do you manage that in family? But sleeping is really you difficult. Not eat out. Hmm? Well, like with the family, you well, you cook at home. Like if they go out to a restaurant and you say, oh, sorry, but I can't eat, then your eat in-laws, the salad. your in-laws, and eat a salad is okay, but your in-laws will think, oh, like odd that she's not eating anything. Only for the first time they will think. We all we all went out first time. They will say, eat, 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 eat. Later, nobody cares what you eat or not. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. We eat for our own self. When you go, we dress to suit others. We, we, we dress because uh, some poor other people see how you do. But when it comes to eating, it's up to us, our own self, how much we eat and what we eat. It's up to us. Uh, we don't care about what other people think. Eating is for our… it's our concern. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But dressing, you have to think about others. You have to dress in a, an, appro- in a, an appropriate manner. Yes. But when it comes to eating, it's to suit ourselves. Mm-hmm. Uh, Maharaj, I have one question, but it's not this subject. Uh, uh, it is. It is possible without. Um, mercy of Guru, uh, one who achieve nine um, stage of uh, bhakti. Bhakti, not possible. Without the mercy of the Guru, mm. she said, "Is it because possible to Mo- achieve?" Mongolia, Mongolia, uh, the, the, the 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 Prabhu who um, uh, mm. training all this devotee, mm. uh, he said, "Oh." She achieved in Sadhu Sangha, um, maybe he achieved this then she achieved Anartha and something like this is not possible. They, they didn't uh, take in shelter of Guru Maharaj, any, uh, um, any um, Guru Maharaj, yes, yes. But he tell, told he achieved in uh, Sadhu Sangha stage, uh, Anartha and Vikki is not possible. Without Mercy of the Guru. Yes. Well, there has to be some mercy from somebody, mm. some devotee, Shiksha Guru, or some mentor, or some. There must be, you have to get mercy from somebody. Mm. You can't just do it on your own. Mm. There has to be somebody there to help you to get free of the anarthas, to come to the higher stages. Yeah, he's saying we need the mercy of the devotees. You have to get, you have to get, because how will you know how to do sadhana? You won't know, you won't know anything, you won't be able to do any sadhana on your own. You have to hear, who are you going to hear from? Just hear your own self? Read the books. Yeah, well you can read the books, okay. but. You need also guru, sadhu, shastra, guru. Sadhu, shastra, guru.
not only Shastra, you need also sadhus and guru. Guru can be Shiksha Guru, can be Diksha Guru. But this Shiksha Guru, no contact with this guru is not possible. No, but Shiksha Guru has to be, there has to be qualified person. Mm. Oh. Mm. You don't become guru just by your own self. Yes, you become a little bit behind like guru. Ah, yeah. They make themselves. Yes. Take them, take the position. When, when I take a prana mantra, he's not happy. Oh, really? Yes, that's why uh, problem with me, uh -huh. start the problem. You want you to be his disciple? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Valentina, okay. you want to go? You're okay? <laughs> so, pint, prasadam. Yes. And there is also Chaitya Guru, yes? Chaitya Guru is the Lord in the heart, yeah. Krishna in the heart. But your heart has to be very clean yeah, it's to get, Krishna to take Krishna. mercy from the heart. You have to check with the shastra, sadhus. We may think, oh, Krishna in the heart telling me, but it may be our mind. So, cannot rely on just teaching.